know you ain't no morning person, don't take no early man. You wanna know why? Cause you got a choice if you wanna go to class or not. And you not gonna go to class. Check your email. This right here is the key. You don't get in no relationship. Now, everybody in that motherfucking camp is getting ran through. Everybody just fuck. We shit is getting ran through. Stiff on the bitch. Oh, the oh shit. They got parties Mondays, Wednesdays, Thursdays. Oh, who the fuck gonna turn up on a Tuesday? We all work a little bit like for the next week coming up so you don't have to worry about shit. You can chill, you can do whatever you want to, you can eat ass, whatever you want to do. The professors don't get no f They not finna sit there and baby your ass and let you catch up on all your work. Hell no, nah, they gonna keep adding shit. But if you see, uh, it make me mad just thinking about it. If you see a female walking around campus and you, oh, she look, she look good. Eight other niggas walking around campus think the same thing. She hit you up, hey, where you at? I just got a class. She said, you just walk out there, motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? If you need to, so find a big girl in the class one time. She may eat the gen up for you and give you class work. Out <laughs> the doofus smirk looking at me. Number one. Last but not least. Yeah, I'm not in a good mood. I just recorded a whole video. This whole video I'm about to do right now, I already did. And it deleted, bruh. Yo, lip long as hell. Just do the video, start over, stop all that complaining. Don't nobody want to hear all this shit. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to my channel, my And so, so, look back with another video. Today, I got, I got game for y'all. I'm finna give y'all a game. I'm finna give y'all some real game. Like, take this in your head. I know some of y'all finna go to college for the first time. Fit freshman shit, little fresh me walking around this shit. Some of y'all make sure y'all already be in college. I'm still finna give y'all the game. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Cause this just what I do. My young nigga the game, y'all my young nigga. So I'm gonna give y'all the game. A little birdie told me I need to start cussing so much in my video. It made sense though. So I'm finna work on that for y'all. I'm gonna stop cussing so much. Gonna be hard, man, but I'ma do it. I promise I'ma do it, man. Y'all gotta bear with me, man. Y'all gotta help me out. What I got for y'all today, I got 10 things you should know before you go to college. Now, me, I'm about to head into my sophomore year of college. I attend the University of Michigan. So that should be enough said. I got a little knowledge and shit going on. It ain't a lot. It's a lot, but it ain't a lot that you should know before you go to college because it's a lot of stuff that me personally, I think everybody should go to college. The experience is crazy. Like, you ain't gonna get no experience like college. Like, I mean, you can make it. You can be big without college. Don't get me wrong. But I feel like the experience is something a lot of people decide on. But you gonna look back a couple years like, damn, I wish I went to college. Hey, like this video right now. Comment, apple juice or orange juice. Say the wrong thing, you get hit. And you better say the right thing too, bro. I'm just sitting here and go to sleep till y'all like this, huh? Get your ass up. A sleeping toad looking at him. Alright, uh, did y'all like the video? If you did, man, thank you so much, man. You a female watching this video right now, shit. You like this video, man. Your ass gonna get fat. To my fat or fuck. If you a dude watching this video, bro, if you like this video right now, man, you gonna get you a bag this year. Okay, you gotta like the video, though. If you don't like the video, you ain't gonna run up no numbers. You ain't gonna run up no bag. Like, manifestation, this shit real. You like the video, that's a part of manifestation to what you wanna be. Okay? This video gonna be lit, man. I'm telling you, man. I just witnessed the most lame shit ever, bro. Bro, they cold. What the fuck? Anybody ever been in this bed? Trying to see what she do out the do say. Yeah, oh, my God. Like, what the fuck? You ever had your ass ate? Have time, yeah. Roster gum. Hmm? Roster gum. 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 Roster gum.
Hey, chill out for it, chill out, chill out. Look at her, what about that turkey or shit? You can eat now. I want to eat while I watch the TV. I don't eat unless I watch the TV. That's that shit. I look, I look. You never said that. You heard that motherfucking boy one more time. Nigga, these hoes and shit don't 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 go cup no hoes. You want fuck if I want rich, might as well say I bought the bitch. No, I be cool as a bitch, cause see, cause she know how I blow. I'ma blow like a wuss. Damn, stop shit. One false move, whole gang. Yeah, we dropping shit. I got two. Some more little short side, nigga. Ah, nigga. False alarm, y'all. Oh shit, I'ma hit his ass. Wicked hours, man. Nigga, it's scary around here. They just don't be for my hands. <laughs> you better get right. You better tap into these video. You, you don't want to miss that. Go watch my last video too. I just reacted to my old high school highlights. I was going crazy. I was. Okay, fool. I can admit, like, I do a bunch of unnecessary stuff for no reason. I admit that. Real talk, though, man. Y'all gonna like the video, man. Cause these videos are only gonna get little, they only gonna get better. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna shoot to the ceiling like this. Too fucking old for this shit, bro. But you always got something to say. I don't know what you look like. All right, y'all ready? Let's get straight to the video. And number 10, don't forget why you in college. There's gonna be so many distractions for you walking around and stuff. Here, there, let's do this. People come to you, let's do this, let's do this. It's easy to get distracted from your whole goal of you being in college. Like your goal is to get your degree, graduate, and run up using bands. College is a place where you're supposed to have fun and shit, but a lot of people go to college for the wrong reason. It's folks who really go to college just for like everything but to graduate. And like, people want to go to fuck bitches and shit, go to parties, go here, go there, do this, do that. You know what I'm saying? But you don't get this, don't get sidetracked from your ultimate goal, bro. Number nine, bruh, don't get in no relationship. Bro. Let me come close. I got to tell you, I don't get no motherfucking relationship, bruh. You hear me? You looking at me, looking at you, looking at me, looking at you, looking at me. Don't get no motherfucking relationship, bruh. Because you're going to be mad at fuck. You see all these <laughs> walking around. Or if you're a female, you're going to be mad at fuck. seeing all these niggas walking around. Imagine arguing and going through it with a motherfucker in college. When you got all this... Man, I'll be damn, bro. I ain't all these hoes that nasty hell that ran through pretty much. When you female, these niggas nasty fuck, they gonna stick their dick in the thing and walking, bro. I'm telling you, my these folks nasty fuck, bro. Wrap yourself up, man. I'm telling you, bro. This ain't no joke, bro. Listen to me, man. All these hoes ran, ran through like they play for the Raiders and Titans or some shit like that. Everybody in that motherfucking camp again ran through. Everybody just fuck. All these thoughts, all these studs, all these shit it is getting ran through. Stiff on the bitch. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, there. Oh, shit. Ooh. Man, I just knocked you off your shit. You all right, bro? You all right, then? You ain't all right. I'm going to take you to the doctor. Yeah, y'all get the point, man. Oh. You ho ran through, man. Oh, man. Alright, let's check. I got something for your way. You ain't got shit. Alright. Fat ass tired of you ain't even did yeah. shit. It sound good, don't it? Y'all, I know it. Put that damn ball down and get back to the video. I'm putting down how I want to, not because you told me to, ugly ass nigga. Look for a sad nigga. Everybody, but if you see. Uh, it make me mad just thinking about it. If you see a female walking around camp and you. Oh, she look, she look good. Any other nigga walking around campus think the same thing. And vice versa for, for females. So many people walking around, you gonna see so many new faces every day. I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you from experience. I ain't never go to a relationship right in college, but I'm telling y'all, bro, it's not it, bro. It's not. I'm really finna eat this. Hmm. It's right here. Is the key. You need it. You need a whole box. Take you a whole box. You never know when you're gonna need these. Oh shit. I'm telling you, bro, you're gonna need these. Even if you're a female walking around, these niggas dirty, you gonna need you. 
They ain't gonna tell you if somebody walk around with a disease, they not gonna tell you if they got one, bro. That's how nasty these folks is. When I first went to college, I wasn't like everybody else. Everybody else was like, I'm finna fuck everybody I see. I'm like, shit, I'm scared to fuck these bitches. But I ain't touch a soul. Like, like I said, I go to U of M. I'm already paranoid. I'm, I'm thinking every bitch walking around got something walking around, got an STD or something. Hey, yo, don't, don't need to come near me. What's up? <laughs> Like, what's going on from a distance? Like, what's up from a distance? Hey, you got the work, you got the answer? From a distance. <laughs> but real talk, this is a necessity, though. You need to keep you on knees on you at all times, but you never know what scenario you might you might post in. Nigga might, you might get that text. You might get that text from her. Why, why you in class, boy? You ain't really listening. You ain't really caring what the teacher's talking about. She hit you up. Hey, where you with? I just got a class. She you can just walk out there, motherfucker. The best part is, the teacher's not going to say nothing to you. Like, you can get up, walk out the classroom, they ain't going to say shit to you. And hey, you go piss. They ain't, ain't going to say shit. You get up and go to the bathroom. But some of these college professors really don't even want you in their classroom. Some of them don't like niggas in their classroom, really. They just teach just to be teaching. They really want you to walk up out and leave that shit. But I had, a, I, I had a college professor lock me out the classroom, bro. You know, you can report these professors. These professors fucked up. Raise your professor, man. Get oh, my professor getting right. I don't care. I had a professor, I didn't know what he was saying the whole semester. I had to drop his class, really. But I didn't know a word. I don't think to this day I ain't understand a word he said. And the whole class ain't either. How I go from talking about condoms to professors? Speaking of that, a goal is to for a professor. I really want to, I got one professor on my mind. I'm on a hunt for you. When I come back to campus, I'm, I want you. I'm, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I never said You need to, though. Don't go without this real talk. You fucked up. Anything can happen. Man, I can't stress this like enough. Don't get in no relationship. 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 You gonna thank me later. Number eight. Number eight. Well, you just held up nine fingers. Damn, but I fixed it, bro. Number eight, bro. Elevate solo. See what I did there? Elevate V8 solo. Man, don't ever say no lame ass shit like that no more. The more I look at you, I start to see Squidward. You know what? I take that back. I kind of agree with you on that one. I see, what, I see the vision, bro. Hey, y'all go follow Elevate Solo closing on Instagram. On some real shit, man, I really do mean Elevate Solo. This is your journey, so the only time you'll really be able to elevate and, and succeed in a lot of scenarios is if you take your time out. It's cool to be like, okay, cool, I ain't finna go this part of the day because I got work to do. It's gonna be part of it, but literally part of all you. You can skip this party because I promise you, bro, you ain't missing out on shit. You really gonna see the same motherfucker, bro. You gonna see the same shit eaters walking around every party. You gonna see the same niggas coming out. You gonna start seeing the same people. This shit gonna start getting repetitive. Oh, you keep going to them parties, spend 10, 15, 20 dollars every week for getting to parties every day. They got parties and shit Mondays, Wednesdays, Thursdays. Who the fuck wanna turn up on a Tuesday? They gonna do it, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but you, you really need to take that time to yourself. Because the time you take to yourself, go to somewhere quiet like shit, the library, the bookstore. Do your work, get your assignments out the way, man. It's really not hard, bro. It's just if you let the work pile up, the professors don't get no fuck. They not going to sit there and baby your ass and let you catch up on all your work. Hell no, nah, they going to keep adding shit. You going to keep having to catch up. And you going to be like, damn, I, I can't even catch up. It's too much work. Nah, because you let yourself do that. You didn't take time to elevate solo and get your shit together by yourself. You get that shit out the Way, man, you can really the work really not it's not, it really it, some of it is, but it's really not hard, bro. You just gotta go and get out the way, like find you a day, find you a study method. I see, I'm gonna get all my work done on this day, so I don't gotta worry about it. Man, get a little ahead if you got to, like, do your work a little bit, like, for the next week coming up, so you don't have to worry about it. So you can chill, you can do whatever you want to, you eat ass, whatever you want to do. I'm giving y'all the game that I ain't do last semester. I'm just letting y'all know, so y'all won't go and do the same shit. Number seven. Where college is not cheap. You come in your motherfucking grill right here, nigga. This shit is not cheap, bro. Not cheap. Don't go in there thinking it's cheap. It's not cheap. Fuck, boy. What? You said something? Fuck, boy. <laughs> don't even go unless you know this some shit I really want to do because this shit is not cheap. They will charge you out your ass and make you pay shit. But I got to pay these niggas $600 for parking a handicapped parking spot. First off, why the 
fuck I had a cow parking spot is so fucking high. Don't nobody even park in them hoes, bro. I had a class out here strictly a handicapped parking spot. And if you don't park in those parking spots, you gotta go all the way down there to park. Who finna do all that walking? Crazy as hell, man. I'm park my ass right here. Don't, don't park your ass right there, cause you gonna be sitting right here like my dumb man gotta pay $600 for a fucking parking seat. Then my dorm room hit me with a fifty dollar damage fee from last semester that I ain't know about. I was barely in my dorm room. That's how I know they be capping, but these colleges really just be wanting your money, but they, they gonna do little shit like that. You gotta watch this shit though. I told them about that sale too, because I called them up there. They ain't even know what I had the damage fee for. Real talk. I ain't playing with nobody, bro. Dr. Doofenshmirt looking at me. Number six. Check yo. Emails. Check your emails, bro. If you don't, man, you're going to be making all type of updates, all type of upcoming shit. You're going to be missing all that, bro. I'm telling you, check all that, bro. I'm telling you, don't be like me. When I first got in, I'm really slow. I really want to even log into my email account. I didn't even know my email when I first got to college. I'm going to be real with y'all. I'm not even getting that updates. I'm not getting a notification to my phone, laptop, nothing that. So I'm chilling, I'm thinking everything cool. Everybody getting everything, they tell me that this coming up, this coming up, that coming up, they finna do this, they got this coming up. I'm like, damn, everybody getting updates and shit, I ain't getting no updates. So my first two months, I missed a bunch of shit. I ain't gonna lie, fuck me in my classes too, cause the teachers send that email. You don't get the email if you fucked up on your work. So make sure you got your email sent. Don't be like me, I was a dumbass. I was behind off the rip. But nobody would do that dumb shit, but you. Shut up, bruh. Damn. <laughs> That was number five. I said number six, but that was number five. Number four. Wham, wham, wham. Bitch, I'm the baby. For your freshman year, don't go taking all them damn classes, bro. Don't go taking all them classes in your freshman year. Four, five, six. Uh, you don't need all them damn classes, bro. Albert Einstein. Them damn damn. Who you think you is? Still not a science guy? Nah, bro. Don't go taking all them classes. Or you gonna fuck yourself up. You don't even know what to expect going into college. Why are you taking all them classes? You don't even know what your schedule finna look like. What you finna be doing on this day, this day. But you adding all these classes to your schedule. Just how you go, I'm gonna graduate early. Nah, worry about all that later on the line. Just get enough class, two, three, three classes would be cool. That's a good good amount of class to have your freshman year. Just cause it give you a little flexibility and a time to know like what you finna do. And you can balance that, you can balance three classes. Get involved, bro. Get involved, man. Join the club and shit, man. Cause all that is gonna look good on your resume, man. All this shit, man. Get, just get involved, man. Get out there, socialize. Meet new people, man. Greet new people. Number three. Bro, don't go taking them early ass class. Don't take no 8 a.m., no 9 a.m., none of that shit, bro. If you know you ain't no morning person, don't take no early class. You wanna know why? Because you got a choice if you wanna go to class or not. And you not gonna go to class. I promise you, you not. Ain't nobody finna get up. My, I swear to God, my 8 a.m. class, bro, I look, my the teacher, you feel, it was like a big ass. I think the classroom was like 40, 50 people in there when, when school first started. Everybody there. But it was an 8 a.m. class. So every day it was like six people in class. Why? Because all them people thought that they was early birds, thought they would get up early in the morning and shit. Oh, you can't, bro. You not finna do that. And don't go have them late ass classes either. Five o'clock, man. Who the hell? How you in class at five o'clock? You gonna get out at seven. It get dark around five o'clock. You be ready to go to sleep. You better be ready to get out of class and go turn up and do something. And he ain't trying to be at class at seven o'clock. What be wrong with y'all? Y'all okay? I don't think y'all be straight in the head in the middle. Why would you go? Why would you do that? What's wrong with you? You all right, bro? Need a hug? Need a hug, nigga. Y'all need a hug. Number two, and it's really one of the most important ones. Either it's really slept on, but it's one of the most important. Find you a class, class friend, like a class buddy or something. Like in your class, find you somebody. Connect with at least one or two people in your class that you get real close with. Y'all can really chop it up and shit so that y'all can, you know, you might be confused on some of the stuff. I ain't saying cheating or like that, but somebody who, you know what I'm saying? Like, y'all can bounce off each other's ideas and shit. Like, y'all might have something going on in the class where you might be confused about You can hit them up. If you need to, shit, go find a big girl in the class, man. Tell her, like, shit, man, man, what's going on? Like, you look good at and shit, man. She might eat the junk up for you and give you class work. Like, it can be anybody on some real stuff. Like, you gonna need somebody. I ain't gonna lie. You gonna need somebody in your classroom who you can lock in with. You know what I'm saying? Talk about assignments, what's coming up, what y'all did. Yeah, man, you might see that big girl, you know what I'm saying? You might not want to, you know what I'm saying? Now, I'm gonna tell y'all, this same me last semester. You see this, you see this. I'm sorry. We in the classroom. Damn, bro. Confused the hell. I'm like, damn, what you talking about? What bro talking about? I get to look around the classroom and shit. My, she sit right next to me. Man, 
Yeah, nice to meet you. I was just wondering, like, what's your name? You always right here. You don't ever talk to me. Why you don't talk to me? What's going on? You understand what he be talking about? I don't understand what he be talking about for real. You look good, though. I ain't gonna lie to you. What you doing after class? Hey, get my info and talk with him. Maybe we can go chill. You know what I'm saying? Do something out of class. I don't really fuck with you, you know what I'm saying? But I fuck with you. I ride with you. You seem cool and shit. <laughs> I just gave y'all the game right there, bro. I just gave y'all the game right there, bro. They ain't gave you the game, bro. They ain't gave you the game, bro. Nah, nah y'all for you, bro. Yeah, find your class, buddy. It won't be too hard for y'all. Hey, go ahead and it. And number one, last but not least. Stay prayed up, man. Talk to God, man. I'm telling you, you're going to need it, man. Our college going to get hard. It's going to get frustrating, man. You're going to be sitting in your dorm. Anytime you ain't got to be in the dorm anywhere, man. Just go talk to God, man. I promise you. You should be doing that anyway. But it's just for the sake of this. I feel like this is the most important. He's seeing what's going on, but you got to talk to him about it. Tell him what's going on. And you're going to do some stuff. You're going to do some stuff. You agree in the college. You're going to go through some stuff that you agree. You're going to have a lot on your mind. College is going to be a frustrating place. If you're going into it, then it's going to be an easy breeze. Nah, it ain't going to be like that. It ain't going to be like that for nobody. I promise you that. But talk to God. Talk to the Lord, man. That's my best advice I can give you. This is a necessity. Take care of yourself. Take care of your mental. This is going to be big for you. Just keep doing what you're doing. Stay talking to God. Stay prayed up, man. Every day. Don't miss a day. Ooh, I'm getting tired. I told you I already did this video. This is my second time running through the video, man. Keep that in mind. Like, everything I said in the video, take that last one. Apply that to your everyday life. It ain't got to be when you're in college. You could just be somebody watching the video. You're not in college, but talk to God, man. Pray about it. I promise you your situation gonna get better. Whatever you're going through gonna get better. Your problems and questions, they're gonna get answered and they gonna be it's gonna get better. I promise you that. Just talk to God about it. But if you stayed this far through the video, man, I just wanna say thank you so much. I love you, appreciate you, thank you for tuning in to this video. If you're new to this channel, subscribe, hit this button for me, please. It's gonna hit me out a lot. And if you learn something new, let me know. Tap in with me, follow me on Instagram, and so solo, follow me on TikTok. All my social media is going to be in the description. They hit me up and, you know, I talk to people. I give advice, you know what I'm saying? I got a podcast channel coming up, too. It's going to be Elevating with Solo Podcast. Y'all stay tuned with that. This is going to be my playful channel, my entertainment channel. Over there, it's going to be, I'm going to take a series of any entrepreneurs, any future entrepreneurs, any age. Entrepreneurs of any age, you know, from teenagers, from kids, teenagers, all the way up until... You know, wrinkle booties like anybody. Like, if you got something you want to do, anything you want to get out to the world, like you could do makeup, rap, do hair, uh, eat ass. I mean, not eat ass. I mean, uh, make clothes like you know what I do. Speaking of that, y'all go follow our Instagram, Elevate Solo Clothing. For, like, I gotta say, man, I love y'all so much, my little everybody watching the video. I'm looking at me, looking at you, looking at me. I love you so much. I pray that you have a better day. You keep grinding, nigga. Keep standing on your shit, man. You got my support 100%. Whatever you doing, man, stay consistent. It, I don't let nobody tell you you can't do it. Elevate solo, elevate for you. It's your life, it's your world, it's your path. Do whatever you want to. Fuck you, man. No DC Young Fly. <laughs> Freak out, nigga. You ain't gotta have your tongue. Polo C looking at me. Man, bro, you say one more thing to me, bro. I'm gonna knock your ass.